All right, boys, today we are here for a rankings video, ranking the top 10 best best players on the Saints team team. Now, this will be like kind of recency biased because like there's a lot of good cards who've come out that are like higher overall because they've come out recently. So it is what it is, but I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. If you are new, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do, and uh, let's get into it. If you boys want the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, head to easymutt.com. Use code CADZO for 5% off. Go build your God Squad. Go build your theme teams. Go build whatever you want, but make sure to use code CADZO. So we'll start with the honorable mentions list, and we have Reggie Bush coming in here, and you know what? Reggie Bush is still a viable option for, like, other people who, like, just have Reggie Bush, you know, non-theme teams. Like, Reggie Bush is a pretty good card. Should be getting a card soon. I mean, this was at, like, the beginning of the year Reggie Bush got this card, and it's still really good. Now, I use, we use Reggie Bush, too, all the time. I mean, he's, like, really good. He's, he's a receiving back, so he's, he's the best running back archetype in the game. So when he gets a new upgrade, he's got 99 speed, 99 excel. I mean, He's just gonna be really good. Next up on the honorable mentions list, we have Marcus Davenport, and this dude is a goon on the team. Like he's he's our backup, but he is a goon. He's got 91 speed. That's a DN. That's just crazy. 95 play right, 97 tackling, 94 power move. Dude's just a dog, just a demon. He gets after it for us. Like he's so he's so nuts. But Sally Trey and Hendrickson had to come steal his spot. But he does he does still play for sure, and he's he gets after it. He's a dog. Next up, we don't have the most exciting pick card Leroy Glover I mean he's a beast like it, it isn't it isn't the most exciting pick but I mean like Leroy Glover he's a beast like he gets sacks that you wouldn't believe I mean he stops the run he gets sacks like he just does it all he's a good pass rusher and he's a free card so you get him for your team captain and the thing is we're not even cheating he actually played for the Saints there's team teams who like just use a team captain because they get the chem but no he actually played for the Saints next up we have Sam Mills who's actually pretty crazy you know honorable mentions list you think he'd be on the top 10 players but People don't use linebackers this year, and I mean, we still use them, but there's like Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, people who like are well below his overall, but still perform the same, still do the same thing. But this car is still really good. I mean, 96 speed, 98 excel, 99 tackling, 99 play rec, 96 zone coverage. He's really good. It's just that, you know, people don't use linebackers this year, and so he really like, I don't know, he's not as valuable as you would think. But with Lurker, I mean, he's, he's he's good with Lurker. Like, if you don't have Lurker on him, then that's an issue. But I have Lurker on him, so, I mean, it makes him a little bit better. And for the last honorable mention, we have Michael Thomas, MT. It's crazy how we, you know, he's not in the top 10. But, I mean, he's only got 96 speed. He's got 99 oh, catching. Wait. He's really, no, he's not a top 10. Compared to the other players, compared to the other players, he's not top 10. But this is still a really good card. I mean, all he has is the catching. His speed is okay. He's really not the fastest. Which, I mean, makes sense because he's not really that fast in real life. He's not 99 speed. And now it's time to head over to the top 10 list, the main boys, the top 10 amazing players on this team. Let's start it off with number 10, Drew Brees, 96 overall Thanksgiving card. And he's definitely going to go up on the list once he gets his, his tribute card because he hasn't retired yet. I don't, I don't know what he's waiting for. I mean, everyone knows he's retiring, so just please retire. But I mean, his stats are really good. I mean, he, that throw power is the only thing that really like screws him over. But once he gets that next card, it should be like a 97, 98. He's gonna have 99 throw power. He's gonna have really good stats, really good accuracies. And he should be able to get playmaker. Should be able to get gunslinger. That's gonna be crazy. And his abilities are really good. You got conductor, Sefi, Sefi lead, and high right master. High right master is the main one, obviously. But this card doesn't miss any throws for me at all. Unless like I'm like getting pressured, but he barely even does that. He barely even misses when he's under pressure. Next up at number nine is Brandon Cooks, and he's coming out with a new Super Bowl card. This is a, a coming out a day before he gets a new Super Bowl card. But right now he has 97 speed. He's going to have 99 speed. His stats are going to be crazy, like cracked out when he gets that new card. But this card is still really good. I mean, like this card is the best wide receiver on the team solely because of the speed, solely because of the speed and the deep route running. And he, his catching is nice too. And he should get playmaker with that new card. So that's going to be nice. That is going to be lovely. Coming at number eight is Marshawn Lattimore, my favorite player in the league. This dude is a goon. He does. He, he's not cornerback number one on the team. So, I mean, that just gives you a hint for who, who else is on the list. But he, he locks up the wide receiver twos. I mean, he's a beast. He did his fair share, you know, being cornerback one, and he, and he did good. But he's got 97 speed. I mean, that's just that just says it all right there. 97 speed. He's got 99 man, 93 press, 93 zones. I mean, you can do whatever you want. With. You can press him. You can stick him in man. You can stick him in zone. I mean, he just, he's a beast. 
And number seven, we got the man, Taysom Hill, tight end card. This car is just a beast. Like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do when I make the golden ticket Taysom Hill QB card, but this card is amazing. Like, this card is literally a wide receiver. Like, he's like Darren Waller 2.0. I mean, he he's a beast. He run blocks. He catches. He runs. Like, he's, his, his route running is insane. I, I don't even know. And he's so fun to use, too. Like, just seeing Taysom Hill just run down the field. Next up is Teron Armstead. Not the most exciting pick, but, I mean, left tackle. It's most one of the most important positions on the team. And he he's a beast. I mean, he, I don't I've never seen him giving up sacks like I, I, I he doesn't give up sacks He holds his own. He's got an edge protector on him. He's got 99 pass block I mean, he, he's insane. He's a good card 96 awareness this card. Yeah, this card's nothing else to say I mean this card's just good at number five, we got the newly acquired Trey Hendricks in the new team of the year car. And this man is cracked. This man is a beast he's a, I mean, he's a 97 overall. So of course, he's gonna be a beast 91 speed 96 excel 99 tackling, 99 play rec. I mean, 96 finesse move. This dude's just amazing. Like, he's just an animal. He's just a goon. And we got double or nothing on him with Fearmonger. So, he, he gets his X Factor almost every game. Like, a lot of the games I play with him, he gets his X Factor just like that. Which, I mean, you gotta have like three sacks, I'm pretty sure. So, he pretty much averages almost three sacks a game. Next up, we got old reliable Malcolm Jenkins. Not really old reliable. He came out in December. But still, I mean, we've been rocking with this card. Usering him. User God Malcolm Jenkins. That's the phrase. User God Malcolm Jenkins. I mean, he's this is why my Sam Mills is so lower in the, in the ranking because you can put people like Malcolm Jenkins at linebacker and he just goes off, he just goes crazy. He's got 95 speed, 99 excel, 99 play rack, 99 zone coverage. I mean, this dude's just an animal, he's just a goon. He's so fun to use, or so fun to have. You know, 86 change of direction. I don't know if that's good or not, but I mean, he's just he's just one of the best users I've ever, you know. I've ever used and now we're getting into the meats and potatoes of the video boys like this is the top three players you can't go wrong honestly you really can't go wrong with, with, with whatever I put them as number three we have Alvin Kamara 98 overall stud this man quite literally might be the best running back in the game like n no bias people other people have said it he might be the best running back in the game he's a receiving back that so automatically puts him at the top he's got 99 speed 99 excel 97 agility 91 catching for a running back, that's insane. 96 change of direction. 99 break tackle. 99 break tackle as a receiving back. That's, that's no words. But Alvin Kamara, third in the, in the ranking. Let me know if y'all agree with that. The dude is a stud. He, he could have went up to two. Could have went up to one. Ah, uh, you know, just gotta see who the next two people are. Coming in at number two is Marcus Williams. I don't know about you guys. I really don't know about you guys, but this dude plays like a dog on my team. Like, this dude is amazing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It might be the 99 speed. It might be the 99 excel. It might be the 99 play, right? The 99, 98 zone, 90 man. I don't know, but this dude does not mess up at all. The dude is everywhere. He is a beast. Like I and of course you gotta have acrobat on him. I mean, you just have to have acrobat. Like on your on your DBs, no matter who it is, you gotta have acrobat because they just get glitchy. And coming in at number one, you boys might have already guessed it by now. It is none other than Michael Burton. Okay, I'm joking. It's not Michael Burton. <laughs> But coming in at number one is none other than Eric Allen, 99 overall. I mean, you should have already known. You, you should have already known. This man is a freak. What? It's the best, one of the best cornerbacks in Mutt. Like, if not the best. This dude is a stud, hands down. 99 speed, 99 excel, 98 jumping, 98 play rec, 99 man, 97 zone, and 95 press. This dude is insane i no words like i mean i've had a lot of words but no words and he's at 92 catching I mean, like th th this card is end game this is an end game cornerback number one and of course we have to have acrobat on him like i said doesn't matter who it is doesn't matter if it's eric allen you gotta have acrobat on him they just they just get glitchy it's, it's just nuts but that's the video if you boys enjoyed the ranking video make sure to drop a like if you agreed and let me know what y'all agreed disagreed on i mean they, they could have went a lot of ways there's they're players who could have been interchangeable could have moved spots all that i mean they're all really good players but that's the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to whatever you gotta do visit easy mutt use code kaiser you know the vibe peace